Number 64. In an air conditioner, 12.65 megajoules of heat transfer occurs from a cold environment in one hour. Letter A. What mass of ice melting would involve the same heat transfer? All right, so letter A, we're talking about ice melting. This goes back to basically chapter 14. We know that the energy required to melt an object will be equal to the mass of the object that has melted multiplied by the latent heat of fusion. So uh, they're basically asking us for mass. So we have to calculate this for mass, you know, solve it for mass. So it's Q over the latent heat of fusion. So the heat necessary, right, that they're talking about is 12.65 megajoules. But you know we need that in terms of joules. So just take that and multiply it by 10 to the 6. Divide that then by the latent heat of fusion. Here it is, um, 334, 334 kilojoules. But you need that in joules. So just multiply that by 10 to the 3. And the mass here is going to get spit out in kilograms, which is appropriate. So there's 12.65 times 10 to the 6 divided then by 3, uh, 334 times 10 to the 3rd. And we have about 37.9 or so, 37.9 kilograms of ice. Okay, so that takes care of that. Letter B, how many hours of operation would be equivalent to melting a 90 kilograms of ice? So basically now what I need to do is to uh, calculate now. They're telling us a mass of ice and they want us to find time. So basically the first thing to do is to find the heat transferred from... Um, uh, from melting, sorry, 90 kilograms of ice, right? So again, it's the same formula, M times latent heat of fusion. So the Q here will now be 900 multiplied by 334 times 10 to the third. And let's find that. So now this is going to be 900 times then 334 times 10 to the third. So we realize that this is going to be about 3.01 or so times 10 raised to the, what is that, 3, 6, 7, 8, it looks like 8 uh, joules, okay. So uh, this is the amount of heat necessary to melt 900 uh, kilograms of ice, and it told us that um, the, the energy that's being supplied basically is going to be uh, 12 megajoules per hour, so I can now do a basic conversion, right, if we're trying to find the the time, what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with the amount of heat that needs to be transferred here, 3.01 times 10 to the 8 joules. Then multiply that now by my joules on the bottom. I know they gave it to you in megajoules, but you can easily convert that into joules. It would just simply be 12.65 12 12 times 10 to the 6th. And then that was per hour. Right? So notice the joules cancel, leaving us with time. So it's basically just a simple division, right? So we're going to take that value and divide it now by 12.65 times 10 to the uh, sixth, and it's going to be about 23 hours. So, or, you know, 23 and a uh, three quarter, basically. So 23.8 uh, or so hours, right? That's how long uh, it would take to melt that block of ice. So it says if, if, if ice costs 20 cents now per kilogram, how much? Well, take, you know, take the 900 kilograms that they gave you, all right, and then it's 20 cents per kilogram. So obviously, you know, to take 900, multiply it by 0.2 in terms of a decimal, 900 times 0.2, that's going to be about 180, okay, $180. And that's basically now um, the cost of that amount of ice, but that ice would have only cooled you for a day. So, you know, your monthly, <laughs> your monthly utility bill would be 180 multiplied by now, 30 on average, and it would be about $5,400. And um, basically, you'd be able to probably cool yourself for a month. And then, um, yeah, good luck. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in. Appreciate it very much. Please remember to subscribe, and we look forward to helping you with more chapters. Take care.